Hello folks and welcome. Neptune 8 June. Juno. Juno. Neptune 8 Juno. It's a KD Plasma desktop out of Germany. So if you can't read that, that's 5.27.5. I'm choosing a 6.1 series kernel. And uh, you can see my hardware here. So I'm filming in 4K today. My videos will have uh, timelines and chapters. All my videos have timelines and chapters. So I'll say welcome folks. So I'm going to give you a tour and an overview of Neptune 8 and I'll give you some tips because there's also uh, some interesting twists in the, with this uh, desktop in the file manager and uh, some of the settings also. It also has another feature called Latte which is a dock and I'll point to that uh, uh, in the menu a little bit later. But in either case folks filming in 4K video will have timelines and chapters and I'll say welcome and the first command I'm going to use is Alt and F4 for a shortcut to close windows and uh, if this is the standard wallpaper if you're looking for an application just start typing alright so I'm looking for calculator and here it is and it's done so you can resize stuff my way or the system way I'm just gonna double click on this line here imaginary line to resize or you can do it the old-fashioned way I have two ways to close this down. I can click the close button or I can also use Alt and F4 to continue. Let's start with the panel. Calendar and clock thing. Arrow is the multifunction status and notification icons. My wireless thing. My microphone thing. Well, in most cases, uh, most people don't have microphones, but some, some do. Bluetooth thing. I'm not using any Bluetooth devices, but the icon is there. Volume thing. I'm using Simple Screen Recorder today. Again, I'm filming in 4K. Amarok Music Player, and I'm going to continue down the path. So I'll open up System Settings for a second under Appearance. Lots of global themes. Cursors. I'm using Radioactive, which I added through new cursors. Now I did verify this before I actually installed it through this area that it did not have a dot icons folder in my home folder. So when you add a cursor, it will auto generate that dot icons folder. There's only two places mouse cursors are installed on on Linux distribution. That's dot icons and USR share icons. That's where these are installed. So these are the mouse cursors that you get. I sometimes call these mouse pointers. But some other distributions also call them mouse pointers. It's not because of my Icelandic, but it's because some other Linux distros also call those pointers. In either case, I'm going to continue. So, in general, you have a lot of commonalities from regular Plasma desktops with uh, some twists. So, again, I'm filming in 3840 by 2160 today at 60 hertz at 200% scaling. I could use uh, the close button or I can also use Alt and F4. Alt and F4 it is. All right, so that was settings. Skipping over to um, VLC Multimedia Player, I'm just going to jump over that and go to Discover Software Center. About 27, I'm sorry, 5.27.5. I can also resize it my way, double click, and you can do it the old fashioned way. Where's the stuff coming from? Well, the Flatpak software is coming from flathub.org. The Debian Bookworm and then also the other repos from Neptune. We have uh, games possibly. You can go full screen if you like. We can uh, see that's Flatpak software. We can click that and do the install here or install here. Screenshot if they're available and read all about it. We can also take a look at like GIMP. GIMP is like Photoshop if you're not familiar with that. And there's two versions of this. This one is installed and you can see the version numbers. Very nice feature. The Flathub version versus the installed version that I have currently. I used to use, uh, I still use GIMP pretty heavily on my, um, well, my current channel and previous channel. I've done over 600 videos in the last uh, five or six years, just to let you know. And I've used this tool so many times that uh, <laughs> I almost have a, a mouse cramp because of so many times that I've used that tool. I also use it to create icons with. 
But anyways, that's another story in itself. You can read all about it. And uh, more importantly, different categories and plasma add-ons. Very nice tool, Discover Center. You can also use Terminal to install software. Again, another uh, way to close this is obviously the X in the corner. The other way is Alt and F4 and continue on. Thunderbird email client, gonna skip over and uh, I'm gonna open up Chromium web browser. So um, I'm gonna resize, I'll give you a couple of tips in the web browser. First of all, I'm gonna talk about the website itself. NeptuneOS.com is the, where you can get Neptune and you can download that. So I'm gonna scroll and make this a little bit bigger on the fly, it's 175%. What can I resize? 25% to 500. What am I doing in here? Holding down the control key while scrolling on my USB based computer mouse. Scroll wheel to resize text on the fly. So again, uh, Neptune 8 is based off of Debian 12 Bookworm and you can download that and test drive it and also um, install it. Fairly basic install. All right, a couple more tips for you. Control T adds a tab. I'm going to open up Google News just for a demo. It doesn't have to be news, it could be anything. And I'm going to resize the text on the fly. And what I'm going to do here is I'm uh, just going to stop for a second and talk about this. Most of your computer mice nowadays have scroll wheels, but some of them also have another uh, feature. Underneath your scroll wheel, you could have a switch. It's called a middle click. Listen for it. I'm pushing straight down on my scroll wheel. All right, that switch activates certain features, and I'm going to use that to open up tabs with and close tabs with. So while I'm reading, I can open up articles using middle click, and it'll open them up in the background here, and you'll see them open, and then I can go back and read those articles later. Here's the first one. You, I'm not leaving the page, but it's loading right here. And I'm, keeping, I'm scrolling down. I'll do another one. There's a second article and the third one. I think that's enough. And then after I get out of the main page, I can start reading those later. Does that make sense? So this is kind of like a temporary bookmark if some people want to call it that, but you're just generally opening up tabs. Now in most cases, most people use the X to close the tab. I'm going to use a middle click and all I'm required to do is be anywhere in the square when I push down on that scroll wheel to do the middle click. And I can do them out of order middle click, middle click, middle click, middle click. What happens when I do the middle click on the last tab? It closes the web browser. So a couple of tips for you folks. Let's move on. Four workspaces and we have the main menu. You can also do searches on, uh, on your desktop and just start typing. But since I'm in the menu, you can also start typing here because I clicked on it. So that's their general logo and matches the one that you see here. Chromium web browser, system settings, Dolphin, and Kate is an advanced text editor. It's kind of a nice one. And Discover Software Center. Again, you can do searches. Moving over to Office, we have a LibreOffice in here. And that version is 7.4.7.2. Again, I can also use Alt and F4 to close that. And I'm going to hit my start key on my keyboard. That's another thing that you can open up this menu with if you have one of those keys on your keyboard. A start key. Some people call it a Windows key. Whatever. All right. So Ocular is um, something like a universal doc viewer. And then a Retext is a uh, simple editor for markdown and uh, I think restructured text, if I recall. I don't really use that one. Utilities. Moji selector, ISO image writer. Latte is a doc. Is a doc. You can open that and add icons to it. I'll try to remember to click that later, but in case I don't, just remember that. Latte is a doc. Kind of similar to a GNOME desktop. Arc for archiving. Kate's a advanced text editor. Calculator, find. And the spectacle is your screenshot tool. I recommend taking screenshots anytime you alter things. Okay. Settings, Pulse Audio. I found that interesting that they have Grub Customizer in here. Grand Unified Bootloader is what Grand stand, uh, Grub stands for. 
Uh, I've used that in the past and I used to also edit grub files. System settings, print settings. Development, keep the advanced text editor. Under graphics, we have GIMP. Again, I, I used it pretty heavily, still do. And um, all these other applications that are in here. Scanlight, I believe is for scanners. Internet, Conqueror, Chromium web browser, X11 VNC server, Thunderbird email client, and KDE Connect and SMS. Multimedia, um, I added simple screen. The rest of those were installed by default. Okay, I'm not gonna click and open up everything in this menu. So all my videos also have timelines and chapters, folks. Three games are installed under system. There are two backup tools. One is back in time, which I'm not familiar with. It may use rsync, it may not, I'm not sure. But time shift normally does, and that's a backup tool that I'm familiar with. And time shift normally under default conditions are backing up your system files. Once it's activated, you can't use time shift if you don't activate it. I also have some rsync videos on my YouTube site and also grsync and rsync using script files if you're curious for personal backups. I'm going to continue. All right, so ISO image viewer. I knew I could say that. <coughs> System monitor. Again, a shortcut to discover software center in Dolphin. Info center and then console or terminal if you want to call it that. And there's another one here called, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that word, Yakui, Yakue. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Zulu uh, Crypt, Crypt uh, encryption stuff, and HTOP process monitor viewer. You can also type in top in console. And most Linux distributions, you can type in top in terminal. Power session. And then if you do click that button, you have about 30 seconds to think about it. It'll auto shut down in this case. Cute little penguin with the Neptune logo on it. I can also change my mind and do a restart. I'm gonna hit cancel before that terminates. Okay, so that covers the menu pretty heavily here. All right, two icons on your desktop, discover software center and your home folder. Don't forget, you can resize stuff on the fly, like my way, holding down the control key. Holding down the control key while scrolling forward and backwards, you can also zoom in and out and hit control plus, 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 plus. You can uh, view hidden files and folders. It auto generates that if you installed uh, a mouse pointer. That's what's called radioactive. I normally do this in bulk. Okay, so um, home folder. If I didn't say this earlier, it does not auto generate these folders. You only get the desktop and templates. It's up to you to create these folders. I create my doc, my photos and vids. Don't forget the toolbar is usually defaulted to that size. And you can click huge or jumbo. Hit plus. What do you want to create? New folders, text files, what? Okay. Alt and F4. Right clicking on your screen. Wallpaper. Again, all my videos have timelines and chapters. Not some nice looking wallpaper in here. Some people call them backgrounds. Mouse actions, location, icons, filter, and about. Close or Alt and F4, whichever you prefer. Right click, configure displays. Again, I'm filming at 3840 by 2160. 60 hertz at 200%. Close, right click, create new something. I use this one to create what I call the poor man's web-based icon. It's a very simple tool to use. You generate that for uh, your web pages. Icons, sizes. You got uh, medium to small, too jumbo or huge. Official term, just kidding folks. So widgets, some people like them, some people not so much. Lots of toys in other words. Toys and tools. All widgets, 
get new ones. Search and close. Right click. Um, I'm going to skip over that and just go to the panel downstairs. Right click. You can add widgets here. You can also edit the panel. Don't like the height? Increase it. You want it to auto hide? Click more and uh, auto hide. That's one example. And um, what else did I leave out? I think maybe the only thing I left out maybe was, uh, where is it? This thing here called Latte. It'll take a second to generate. So it's like a dock down here. It is a dock. All right, so it's kind of an intermixed thing if you want to call it that now. All right, I think I'm pretty much done, folks. And I'll say thank you for watching.